and welcome along to Northern Farms. It's the last day to get the carrots planted in field 8, but the tractor is beginning to show its signs of wear and needs repairs. While it's out of action, can we get started on the cows and sheep? Let's get farming. I get the distinct feeling that today is going to be a fairly expensive day on the farm. We have got to get this tractor repaired. We're currently sitting at six damages and an inspection required in six months. It had trouble starting up uh, when I got started with it this morning. So, yeah, it's, it's going to have problems, I think, today. And uh, I'm hoping it's not going to conk out on me. Uh, it's certainly we've got to get it scanned and checked for uh, problems and things today because if we don't uh, we are definitely going to have it out of action and it's definitely going to have more problems tomorrow so what we're going to do is first borrow a little bit of money because we are 4,250 in the hole so I'm going to borrow 10,000 to begin with that'll get us up to uh, 5,749 and it's beginning to bite now the fact that we've got so much least is absolutely beginning to bite you can see we're losing about 10,000 pound per day uh, with 6,000 pound of that being in vehicle leasing costs most days and so it might be a little bit counterintuitive for me to go for the Mini Air Nova Fold on here over the ridge considering the difference in price but we are going to lease this. Uh, we can lease this and it'll be an extra 500 per day. Yes. And, uh, and we'll grab that. And then uh, I don't, I'm not going to worry about getting any seeds yet. Instead, the pallet I am going to buy at this point is the servicing pallet. And we can come down and we can pick this up a little bit later. We're going to need this to repair the tractor. And that should do us for now. We have over here this pallet. Uh, this only has 50 litres of seed. I have a feeling that we may actually want to go and uh, get that. Oh, that might uh, that will fill up. Uh, we might want some more seeds looking at that. Uh, and we'll have to come down here and get those. This does not hold many seeds, this, uh, this planter. But... Uh, I think it is going to hold more than 50 litres. So uh, we'll give that a go. Bring this back here. See how full it gets. And then I think we'll uh, buy another pack at that point. Connect that up. Uh, is that all? No, collect it up. Right, good. Right, and then refill it with... Wow. 32 litres of seed. It really didn't take more than that. So I'm going to put this and try and put it in this. Yeah, that'll do. There we go. So when we come back in a bit, we'll come back with the telehandler and uh, and bring all of that back with us. And uh, hopefully the seeds in this will go fairly far. We want carrots. Perfect. Right, and going for the slightly wider cedar here right slightly wider planter should mean we can get this job done fairly quickly and we need to get this job done quickly today i have no idea how far these carrot seeds are gonna go i'm really hoping it's quite a way it would be uh, exceptional to be able to plant all of our fields with one pallet of seeds now last time we were in here uh we went along here we don't i don't think we actually have a core set up we'll find out on that in a moment but let's unfold this i want to give myself a nice big headland with this i think so we will go uh, i think we'll go about here ish yep and uh this time i think we're gonna try and set it up so it does actually follow the line of the field so if we go like that start this up drop it down or are these are these actually going to go at the angle no they are going to go north south right so cancel that 
let's line this all up then and we will go at the angle of the uh of the field like so and try and get it going at zero degrees if we can set our second waypoint to our width and away we go and yeah we seem to be on about the right angle so uh yeah carrots going in and we will have to clean up along that side again um well as happens something you might notice early on here and i'm sure i'm gonna get comments on it is why am i not reaching these carrots why am i not putting riches in first and then doing uh doing this and it's simply because riches have no effect in precision farming so there is no point in me reaching these at all uh they will do just as well planted straight up like this and uh and we don't have to go and get another piece of equipment uh to do anything with them uh the less we disturb the ground the better it is and so as a result uh we are best off just uh doing it this way and uh and and not worrying too much about it now i am trying to get a fairly large headland on here as i said at the other end so i'm being a little bit cautious and as soon as it makes the noise on this end i'm uh, pretty much immediately putting it down or picking it up there and i think we want to come in about here-ish yeah if we can get a decent size headland on here we'll be doing well so uh we need we need that actually in order to to turn around properly and so uh we're probably going to have some spaces in the corners as well uh but that's the other advantage of not ridging is the fact that we give ourselves a little bit more maneuverability on the field as well about halfway through the middle part of this field now and we've only used 28 percent of the seed uh this is fantastic parents are really really good on the seed usage and in fact uh this is this is excellent we are using very very little seed on this whole job now one thing we are going to have to do very soon i think is get a new tractor i'm hoping one's going to come in the shop and at midday i'm going to check the shop again see if we have one available uh if not i do have my eye on one uh i think we might get a kubota i think we might get a uh, an m6 uh we can get one for about a hundred thousand and uh, it will end up uh not costing too much for that uh we can get it with about 140 horsepower uh i think for that price so uh that's what i got my eye on i'm really really hoping it comes up and uh we'll see what happens but yeah another tractor is going to be very necessary especially if this one could very easily be out of action for two to three months we're into the fiddly bit at the far side of the field now. Uh, it is just coming up to one in the afternoon. So I'm actually really, really pleased I got this wider cedar. Uh, yes, it's costing me more money to have it. Uh, but overall, I think it's going to save us a lot of time and a lot of money. So uh, that's good news. Uh, we're up to the edge of the field here. So we now need to head up this headland here and go and do the top end of the field. And uh, yeah, once we've got this done, uh, we'll head back down and get the other end of the field done. And uh, we should be in a really good place then. Uh, and then we can see exactly how much repairs on our tractor are going to cost. I am really concerned not so much about the cost of repairs because we can borrow the money to cover it uh more the uh cost of uh time in getting it repaired uh i think i really really think we're going to end up needing a second track to get through harvest because even if this is out for two months 
that's going to impact into this year's harvest. That's actually worked out quite well. We are coming up to the gateway. I'm going to have to close the gates. Otherwise, uh, they are going to be in the way of the last little bit. But uh, that is uh, very nicely done. It is only two in the afternoon, which is fantastic news. That gives us plenty of time to fix up the rest of this. And yeah, we're going to be able to get the tractor scanned and hopefully start it being repaired today with six uh, bits wrong on it already. I am really worried about how much worse this is going to get. Uh, we're going to have to put this, I think, in the end shed here for now. I also think we might have to straight up just sell our barley straight away this year which is depressing whoa no don't unfold drop down okay we don't need to do that then so drop that down and uh we will leave the massey here ready to get it uh scanned with our stuff and yeah time to head down to the shop and get ourselves our repair kit and sort this tractor out uh how bad is this this only has okay this is requiring an inspection in two months so we might inspect all of this i'm expecting this to be out of action for a very short period of time if that's the case and uh, as a result we should be okay Oh, if we're going to get the cows, we're going to need to get a mixing uh, trailer. I think I might have to look into that. Okay, so down to the shop with it. And we'll just scoop this up with our forks. I have noticed that the forks haven't degraded at all. And how's the... Well, the actual bit we've got here it says inspection required in two months uh there's a little bit of damage showing on our merlot nothing too serious well we might get away with this if we're lucky i am noticing that the linseed is ready on the field we want to buy do i go and risk it and buy those borrow the money and buy those now Oh, we really want to we really want to add that linseed to our stuff and with everything the way it is It might be worth it. It's gonna basically max everything out if I do it And that is uh, a little bit concerning I I don't really want to put myself in a position where I have no money without selling anything that would be really really bad so um We'll have a look. We'll have a look when linseed actually can be harvested, Till, because if it can be harvested next month, uh, that would be great. Okay, let's grab... Yeah, let's grab the seeds out. And we'll just put them... Uh, we'll put them in here for now. We have nowhere to store any crops this year, I should say. So it might be a straight sell. Right. And bring this over here. And we'll have a look at both machines. So, how do I inspect the vehicle? Open maintenance control J. Right, uh, let's start an inspection. Takes one hour and therefore you completed it. Yep, yes. So, uh, you do that. Continue, completed at 15.45. So in the meantime, while that inspection gets done, we are going to go and use this piece of kit and uh, see if we can get the cows and the sheep started. Uh, I think we'll get 10 cows, 10 sheep to begin with, and that will mean uh, that we can get a good little bit of production going with both of them. So, cows first. I think we're going to go with some Holsteins. They start... Yeah, they start producing milk at, uh, at 18 months. And, uh, and we want to get some calves in fairly quickly. 
So I think 10 Holsteins, uh, 16,500. So I am going to borrow 25,000. That will take us up to a 300,000 pound loan. Two, three, four, five. There we go. And then we're going to select this. For that fee of a thousand, it's going to cost us more than that to lease a trailer. So I'm quite happy having them delivered for that. So buy that. Yes. Okay. So there are our cows. I don't think we need to worry about water for them. So that's good news. Over here, though, uh, if we're going to go and grab our sheep. In fact, we need to come to the front here. And grab the sheep. And with such a short gestation period on the sheep, I think, it uh, and, uh, and puberty, it might be worth us getting, at this point, a load of lambs. We'll be able to get twice as many lambs. So, yeah, I'm going to take this up to 20 lambs. And then in a year, we should be fairly good. And, and the idea is not only to get wool here, but uh, by the time we're looking at getting to the, towards the end, we should have a load of lambs to sell as well. So we will buy 20 sheep as well for four and a half grand. And uh, that means we still have 6,500 to fix our tractor, which is perfect. Right. We need a couple of uh, hay bales to feed the sheep. And, uh, and then I'm going to have to look at what the cost of getting a uh, something to to feed the cows is going to be because at the moment uh we don't have a mixing trailer and uh we don't have a huge amount of hay but we do have quite a bit of the uh silage so hay into the feeding trough we're gonna need to cut this grass field again soon and yeah that's all in there so daily food is uh 100 liters yearly food is 9300 liters and they have just under that so one more hay bale is enough to feed our sheep for the year our cows need 42000 liters a year so we yeah we're going to have to get a mixing trailer and get that mixed because that is a lot of food we've got to sort for the cows now. Our tractor should have had its inspection completed. And two more damages. So eight in total. Okay. Yeah, look. Just not starting. We need to uh, get this into the shed. Park it up. And, uh, and then what I think we'll do is... Uh, see how long these damages are going to take to fix hopefully it'll only be a uh, a month or so if that's true and uh with any luck we'll be okay otherwise yeah we're gonna have to very much think about what we're gonna do uh in so far as for harvest because we need a tractor for two months time and it may be that we have to go with buying a new one in order to get through harvest this year i don't really fancy doing uh harvest with the merlot especially if the merlot itself is due to be out of action in the near future so let's head over here and uh we'll put the repair stuff down in front of that because that's where we need it to be at the moment uh, this is off. So, control J. Uh, so, okay. So, uh, it will be finished today at 7 o'clock. Today at nine, 8 o'clock tomorrow morning for 3. So, all 8 damages would be... Well, all 8 damages would be end of the day tomorrow. Yes, we can do with this track... This tractor can be out of action for a day. And it'll only cost us... Perfect! Right, let's repair the damages. Yep, 
and end of tomorrow so this tractor is one day and just over one day this tractor will be up and running again that is absolutely perfect so i'm gonna put the tools in this shed here in our little workshop area i'm actually surprised that this isn't a workshop on the farm it's uh it's a little bit strange that uh, but yeah, uh, leave that in there, out of the way. Uh, and then we can inspect this uh, once harvest kicks off. Uh, in the meantime, I need to pop down to the shop. We need to get a water trailer. And uh, then we can get the sheep uh, with some water. And oh, I haven't rolled the carrots. Do the carrots need rolling? Are we going to have to roll with this piece of kit? Let's see. Needs rolling. Uh, take the mulched off. No, the carrots don't need rolling. Uh, I thought I'd rolled field five. We must have run out of time to do that. Uh, so, yeah, we're good. Fantastic. So we're back down to the shop and we're going to need two pieces of equipment here. I need a water trailer and I need a feed mixer. So, a uh, water trailer. Don't know how much water the sheep take. I don't think it's a huge amount. So, we can lease that for not a lot of money. Uh, yeah, we can lease that and that won't be too expensive. Oh, I need to get my number plates right. And because we're putting it on the telehandler, I'm going to get uh, the same number plates on that. So, that's Taz Oslo's number plate. Uh, rim color... Oh, we'll go with chrome wheels and we will lease that. Yes. Okay. And to lease the other one, we are going to have to borrow 5,000. I'm hoping that's enough. And I'm going to get a, a 22,000 litre Silo King uh, trailed line here. This should do the trick really nicely. Uh, leasing that is going to be 2,250. We've added another thousand pound to our leasing costs today. That's not great, but um, thankfully we still have space in the bank for it. Uh, this telehandler actually should be able to run this trail forage wagon. So uh, that is good news. We'll get both of these back to the farm and uh, get them set up. I think that next time, a lot of our time is going to be spent getting ready for the harvest. Knowing that it only takes our, only took our tractor out of action for 24 hours to uh, basically get the, uh, get the repairs all done. Uh, we need to get the repairs done on the telehandler and we need to get the repairs done on the combine as well. So uh, I think next time we will probably get those all going and uh then after that uh we're gonna want to maybe look at getting a contract done with all of our equipment out of action and not being able to to actually get any work done on the farm uh, i think it's going to be very wise at that point to take a contract and i can think of no better contract to take than the one in field three for the linseed so uh yeah let's borrow the items for that and then next time we'll be able to pick up the harvesting contract in field three 2602 liters uh with the linseed it's only going to be 2600 but it gives us something productive to do on our farm and uh yeah bring a little bit of extra money in it, it won't even cover our daily costs of leasing uh but uh, it will at least put a little bit of a dent in it. Uh, all in all, though, I think we're doing fairly well. Uh, we will need to feed the cows next time as well. So uh, that will be what we'll be doing. Uh, for now, though, I think it might be time to leave this here. So all that remains is for me to say...
thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. Special thanks to all my patrons and channel members. Your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow. For more from Virtual Farmer, check out the links below, follow on Twitch to watch live, and for more videos, subscribe and ring that bell. I will see you next time. Goodbye.